Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to fine-tune a performance. So say there's maybe one or two stray notes or something. Um, or you want to vocal a line or align a vocal to a, a grid or to the performance. And it's not like it's almost there, but it's not quite there. So first thing I'm going to do is zoom the locator. And then I'll double click on this and open it up in a separate window. So now I have this performance and if I go to audio warp and then hit free warp, what that does is opens up the grid view for me and I'm going to make this half the size so it's a bit easier to, to focus on. But you can see it's more or less everything's in time there. A couple of notes here and there that aren't on the beat, they're just coming off. Um, I'll show you first, if I was to use audio quantize on this rather than individually, it'll, it'll look for the transient information and it'll create split points, slices, um, and it'll move the transient information towards the grid where it thinks they should be, but it, it, usually it's not terribly effective and you'll get artifacts and things. Um, what ends up happening is that it'll, like, rather than move this note back to the, the beat, it'll move it this further this way. It depends on the quantized settings and things, so say... Eight, right? Yeah, we'll try eight. And you'll see the change here. Hold on. I'll make this bigger. You should see change. So there you can see it sort of moved quite a few of those notes. I'll be very surprised if it's done it in a way that's musical. So you can see there all the different sort of transient or the slice points. Um, basically, in this mode, if you decide to use this, it can be handy for certain things, and, but for more complex harmonic stuff, it probably is not the best option. You've got this little uh, thing here, which allows you to click anywhere and create uh, create slice points, and if you move up to the top here, if you want to move a slice point, so say, let's see. Say I, I want, well, basically you can drag any slice point. So I've got an iterative quantize on, so it's not totally strict, but basically you can go in here and drag and drop. Um, and then if you want, to have the transient start there. You just go up, the we two-way arrow appears, and you can drag it, and it'll take the start of the note right back to the beat. But for me, well, let's have a listen to this and see. is lost the groove. So what I'm going to do is reset that and that puts everything back. I'm going to zoom in on individual notes here. So I'm going to create my own slices. Slice, 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 slice. Right. I think there has to be at least two slices because what ends up happening is that uh, the information gets skewed. So say that one's in the right place pretty much. But I want to move that one 
so it needs to have a slice there otherwise if I move this one all the information over here gets moved as well like that so I create a slice start there you see that it doesn't actually move the other ones So control and scroll gives you a zoom in and out. Some of these are more out of time than others. Right, let's give this a go. Probably this information, there's like the, the beat and then there's the off beat. So that's that. Exactly the same thing on the second part.
see it's not necessarily all of them, I put it in on most of the beats there, but probably that's overkill. Let's have a look at the bass and see. We'll do the same thing. I'll put it in one of the quantize. The quantize usually works better for the bass. It's a bit more forgiving. <coughs> Pardon me. A bit more forgiving. at a time, but see that auto scroll does my head in. Just get it down to where you need it and then it auto scrolls away. So if I move that, it's actually taking the transient, but if I pull it, that double arrow thing across to an arrow, it'll pull it back again. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go in and undo what I just did and play it back and see.
yeah so that shows you how you like if you feel the need to you can go in and really sort of fine tune with the free warp I think that's what it was called Auto, audio warp free warp tool and that'll allow you to go in and it will allow you to go in and um, basically if there's a, a dud note like it's off time you can move it into time without too much of an audio artifact being introduced same with bass vocals can do the same yeah, so it's a pretty useful tool. Cheers.